Hello everyone. Welcome to our free online lesson. Thank you for joining me. I'll just uh, admit the participants. Okay, I hope everyone could hear me well and can see this. Okay. All right. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you can see my screen and everyone is admitted, right? So thank you for joining our free online lesson today. Uh, before we get started, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Hakim Hossein and I'm the Beam Specialist uh, for ACATSystem.com. Okay, got quite a number of participants today, so uh, I meet all. Okay, welcome everyone. Okay, so today we are going to discuss about flange pipe in Revit, uh, specifically on how to apply them into our pipe systems. Okay. Um, okay. A little bit overview before we get started. Uh, flange is a type of pipe fitting used to strengthen or spread the load of the pipe. And pipe flanges forms a rim that radially protrudes from the end of a pipe. There are several holes that allow two pipe flanges to be bolted together, forming a connection between two pipes. Okay, so this is the, uh, the flange pipe that we're going to look uh, into creating today. Okay, so yeah. So if you can see here, uh, we have pipe and then we have the elbow here and then attached to it are uh, flanges. Okay, are flanges. And then we also have uh, a T, T type of uh, flange. And then, of course, we can place the flange individually as well. Okay. Um, as I walk you through the process of placing these pipe fittings, uh, things like, like uh, pipe cross or with reducers will have the same method of applying in our pipe system. Okay. So creating flange pipe in Revit, I will show you how to manually add it and then also adding the flange into our pipe system so we don't have to repeat uh, the process every single time. <clears throat> and I, uh, of course, before we uh, start this, you need to have your pipe fittings uh, ready. Okay, but for today, I will use the the pipe fittings, the the default pipe pipe fittings that comes with the installation. Okay. <coughs> okay. So I'll focus on this part. So this is what we're gonna create today. We have our pipe here. And then there is one flange. And then there is an elbow with a flange. So it means that they, these are three three items here. Okay. I have the pipe, I have the flange, and also the elbow with flange. And then the rest, of course, we can place a T. The method will be the same. And here we have a pipe with flanges attached to it. Okay, and then we have this is a cross. Okay. So I'll start new. I'll go to new project know that and I take a plumbing template for this because plumbing te template would have the, the most pipe fittings loaded to it. <clears throat> okay so we are now in the plan view. I will switch this to find detail detail level okay and then for pipe, we have, to, we have to go to systems and then click on pipe here. 
I will show you the default one first. Okay, here we have pipe stand, pipe type standard. Okay, so I will draw one pipe here. And then as I go towards another direction, I'm sorry, we will have an elbow created for us. Okay, currently it's, uh, if you click on it and then you look at the properties, you can see that this is an elbow soldered CU standard. Okay, this is not what we want. Okay, so how do we add? I'll start with the elbow first. How do we add the different type of elbow? So, firstly, you need to have the elbow fittings. Okay, if I just go to uh, in our system step here in the plumbing and piping, there will be a pipe fitting. Just click on that. Yeah, and the properties here you can drop down and then you can find. The, the types of pipe fittings that are loaded into your project. <coughs> okay. So for T, we only have T soldered to you and also T plane. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I have a little bit of cough, coughing. So usually, <coughs> usually when you install Revit, there are different types of pipe fittings that will come uh, with your installation <coughs> in your library. Okay. <coughs> so typically, it will be in your uh, file. File Explorer, click on the window C, <coughs> program data, Autodesk, Revit 2023, libraries, English US. So you can just follow this file location. It will bring you to your library. And then you just need to go to pipe. And then fittings. Okay, and then you, you have to choose the material of it. So I go with uh, gray iron. Okay, here we can see that there are a few classes that are available. So for example, I'll go with the class 1.5. Flange. Okay, here you, you will find these kind of fittings, they are typically not loaded into your Revit by default, okay? So you have to uh, load this into your project in order to use it, okay? So you can check first in your PC if these are available. If it's not available, you can contact us and we, we can help you to install the uh, this library. Yeah, because sometimes uh, when installation are not done correctly, uh, this might not be available. Okay. And of course, if you have your, your own type of uh, own type of uh, pipe fittings that you want to use, then of course you can create it or get it from, from your manufacturers, for example. So I will open this, that file, and that will be a family file. Okay, this, this is how it looks like in the family file. Okay, so I have to load this, load this in into our project in order to use it. Okay, so I have opened it and then I load it into project. I have to select my project and uh, the one that I'm using was project five. <clears throat> okay, so now uh, they will ask you to 
place in the, the fitting right away, but uh, I don't need to do that right away. I can just click, uh, press escape. What's important is it's already in our project environment. Okay. So I can, to place it, I can either go to systems, pipe fittings, and then choose it. And then I can place it. As you can see, it can detect automatically. Okay, something like that. And they will also go with, uh, it can, it's compatible when, when the pipe changes its uh, diameter as well. But of course, this is not very common to do. <clears throat> okay, for example, here I can click the existing one and then go to the properties, drop down, and you will find the one that you have loaded in. Okay, M elbow reducing flange GI class one to five. Okay, you can just click on it. And then you can see the new elbow replaces. The, the one that we had just now. <clears throat> okay. So similarly to, um, I'll just extend my pipe here. Similarly, if I just draw a pipe to, to trigger the, the T, okay, I'll draw a pipe like this, then it will give us a T, okay? So this is obviously not what we wanted because we want to have the one with a flange. So I'll go back to my library. You can also go from here by, by fittings and then load family. It will bring you to browse your, <clears throat> your library. Okay, so I will look for so I, I I know that the the location is correct. Okay. Now okay, and then I will look for the T. Okay, here we have the T. All right, I think this is the one. So I can just click on it and then open. Okay, so then we have it in our environment. I can just escape and then click at your T from your drop down. You can now select the T flange GI class one to five. <clears throat> okay. So that is how you place in your pipe fittings. In this case, it's uh, it's a flange pipe fitting. But how do we how do we do this automatically? Because I don't want to have to create it and then have to uh, click individual, individually on it and then change the, the type of pipe fittings. Okay, so that will be in, we have to click at the pipe first, okay. Okay, add a pipe, and then we go to edit pipe. Okay, here you will find the 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 pipe that we are using right now is pipe type standard. We are using a standard one. <clears throat> okay, and then so to create another pipe, it's advisable to duplicate first. If not, whatever changes will override the existing one. So I will just duplicate it first. And then <clears throat> I name it flange pipe. Okay. Can be any name. Okay, now I've created another type. Now we are in the flange pipe. And now we can edit to add those fittings, okay? And that will be under the segments and fittings, routing preferences. Okay, you can click on it, edit. And then you can see here, these are all 
the pipe that currently being used. So you remember we duplicate from the standard one. So you can see the pipe for the standard is using the copper, the copper pipe. Okay, so if you want to change the pipe, you can also change it from here. You can click at the drop down, and there are certain uh, types that are available. Okay, for example, I can change this to a galvanized steel pipe. Great. But now we are focusing on the, the elbow. So right now, elbow soldered CU standard. Okay, you can drop it down here. Then you can find this, the one that we loaded uh, just now. Okay, so you can just change this. Make sure the routing preferences is used, is favoring this over the standard or the, the others that we have in our project. Okay, make sure you select this and then click OK. Now we want to test it it out okay <clears throat> and then we go again to pipe make sure you change your pipe type to to the one that we have duplicated flange pipe and now let's try to draw the pipe with an elbow okay so now you can see that we have the the elbow with a flange uh, type. All right. Okay. Uh, next, we want to add in the keys. So that will be the same uh, method. <clears throat> I'll click at the pipe and then edit type and go to the routing preferences. Click edit. So we have elbows, function. Because all of this, you can, you can change it to the pipe fitting that you want, okay? So next I will go to T, the junction. Junction type is, that is preferred right now is T. And then at the T here, you can change it to empty flange that we loaded earlier, okay? So, uh, you can also load from this routing preferences. So you can just click here, load family. Okay. So because we have it, we have already bring it into our project environment. You can just select from the drop down. Okay. So here for the flange, I haven't uh, put in the flange yet. Okay. This is the individual flange, not this one. Like this ones are attached to the elbow, okay? So here, I can just click at the load family. Okay, then I have to browse my library. I go back to fittings. And then I go to gray iron flanges. I'm using a class one to five. <coughs> I'll change the view to extra large icons just to see it a bit clearer. Okay. So we have two here, French blind and threaded. Okay, I'll just put both. <clears throat> I'll just select both and look in both of them. Click open. Uh, okay. So I've loaded, loaded both, and now currently it's set to none. But now I can drop down and select this one. Okay, maybe I, we can't load uh, two at one time. So I'll just go again and get the other flange. Okay, that is not working. Okay, sorry, because that one is basically a cap. Okay, so it 
goes here, I believe. Yeah. It's a blind flange where you use at the end of the pipe. Okay, so it goes to the cap category. Okay, sorry. So now you can just click OK. Okay, here I have a, a window pop up. It says that your fittings in flange are all set to none, size range, which means cannot use that category. Okay, sorry. I just close that and then go back to the routing preference. Okay, here you have to specify the sizes of, of the flange that you want to use, okay? Um, currently at the flange here, it is set to none. So we have to change this. Okay, I'll just set it to all. At the same time, you have uh, other options of uh, dimension that you can pick. So when you do your pipe, your piping, it will only give a certain uh, dimension of pipe. Okay, but I'll just use all for now. As you can see, the rest are all using the all settings. Okay. Now I click OK, and then OK here, and I'll try to draw again my pipe. Okay, here, in here. Okay, so as you can see, I have the elbow and then addition to that, it gives us a flange, okay? Because previously we only loaded in the, the elbow, but without the flange. So basically at the end of our pipe here, it doesn't have a, a flange to be bolted in with the flange that we have in our uh, elbow here. Okay, so now it's automatic. So you can just draw. I can now draw, just extend it, extend this a little bit more. And then I, I draw a T here. Okay, as you can see, I have the T with flanges and also a flange at the end of, our, of my pipe. <clears throat> yeah, I can also go like 45 degrees. We'll also create our, uh, our pipe here. And then for example, if you're creating your pipe, uh, it comes with a certain, a certain length and at the end of the length you want to Add in the flanges. Okay, so for example, your pipes are two meters long. So I'll just put in 2000 here. Okay, and then you plan to have a flange here, and then the pipe continues another two meters. Okay, so you can go to pipe fitting. Okay. Just go at the properties here. You can select whatever kind of pipe fitting that is available. So now I'm, uh, I'll select the, the flange. And just bring to the end of your pipe. And then get this uh, symbol here. So it means that it's connected. And then click. Okay, so, so it will give you the flange. And then with another flange for you to continue drawing your pipe. You can click at the, at the flange and at the connector. We call this a connector. You can right click to it and then draw pipe. So you can continue going for another uh, two meters and so on. Okay. Um, so yeah, that is how you do the routing preference. Okay, maybe I will also show you the cross type. So again, it's the same method. Okay, I'll switch back to this tab. I click on, I just click on any part of the type of the pipe and then click edit type. And then under the routing preference, click edit. And then here, as you can see, cross is using a cross solder CU standard. 
and we have no flange type here. So we have to click load family. And then we have to browse into the to the uh, location of that pipe. So I go to gray iron class one to five flange. Okay, maybe I'll change this view to extra large just to see it better. So here I have M cross flange GI. Okay, uh, open. Okay, it will, down, it will be loaded in and then you just need to change it here. M cross flange GI. Okay. okay. So now when I create my pipe, systems pipe, I draw, I just draw a random pipe with a cross. Now it will use the flange type with with the flange uh, at the pipe, at the pipe side. <clears throat> so maybe I'll change this view to the 3D view. Okay, so if you if you look at it, not right now it's showing kind of like single lines. That is just because of the detail level, you have to change it to fine. Okay. So yeah, this is the the visuals of it. Okay, so that will be it for our lesson today. So if you have any questions, you can just uh, type in in the in the chat. So I'll see how can I help you with your questions. And just to remember that you need to have the family, the family of that flange. Uh, it's either you get the default one that, that comes with the, the installation. If you don't have it, you can contact us. We can help you to get the, the content. And But of course, if you have your own preference, you need to create your own uh, family file of that flanges, or you, you, you can also get it from some of the manufacturers that also provide this, uh, this Revit model, okay? okay? If you have any questions, you can just type in, in our chat. While waiting for that, I will go to our website. Just to introduce uh, our website to you, it's acatsystems.com. Okay, it will bring you to our homepage here. Here you can find our latest promotion and news. Okay, and then as you scroll down, here is our free online lesson. So you can you can browse here, and if you are interested with a certain topic that we do, you can just click on it, and then. Uh, basically, book your, uh, you can RSVP here. Okay. So then you will get uh, an email to remind you to join our live. Okay, just go back. And here you can also find our training. But for further inquiries, you can contact us. You can also go to our live chat here. You can just click here and our agents will, will assist you. Okay. And then we also have our Facebook and YouTube that is down here. You can just click, for example, our YouTube. It will bring you to our YouTube channel. So all our free online lessons will be uploaded here. And we have quite a vast uh, libraries on several topics across several softwares that being uploaded here. So you can check it out, maybe give it a subscribe. Okay, since we have no questions, uh, hey, CCW. All right, I will drink more water. Thank you very much for, for, for your reminder.
<clears throat> All right, so that will be it. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you again in our future free online lesson. Thank you. Bye-bye.